Welcome and welcome back to this channel. Some of you have reached out to me about the difference between the Palmer's Cocoa Butter and the Fade Milk. Now I can understand where the confusion might be because it's the same company making both products. So I'm just basically going to touch on the differences just so it helps you to pick the right one for yourself. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification, like this video, comment, and finally, please buy all your hair and eyelashes from us at www.sharegorgeous.co.uk. Let's get into this review. The first difference is that the Palmer Skin Success is a lightening product whereas the Cocoa Butter is not. So the Palmer Skin Success has got ingredients like niacinamide which helps to fade dark areas like discoloration. So basically it helps to tackle it, even out your skin tone. The Palmer Skin Success has got vitamin C which obviously we know lightens the skin whereas with the Cocoa Butter it's not got any skin lightening ingredients in there at all. Another difference that will help you is that the Skin Success comes in a box. Now I'm not talking about the actual delivery box, the bottle itself comes in a box so before you use the product in the bottle you take it out of the box whereas with the cocoa butter it doesn't have any box that comes with it so it only comes in the bottle or in a jar so that is one of the difference that will help you this next difference i explained a bit of it earlier but i'll touch on it again which is the fact that the palmer skin success is a treatment cream whereas the cocoa butter is a soothing cream to smoothen the skin and relieve it from dryness. So with a skin success, obviously it's a treatment cream targeting darker areas. Its purpose is to fade the area to even out your skin tone, just so the skin color looks even and it doesn't look like there's patches of dark areas or dark scars in there. For us, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter is made mainly targeting people with very dry to dry skin. So it basically makes your skin look smoother, it soothes the dryness, so it looks seamless and doesn't look like, you know, it's um, having that flaky skin going on. So that is the main difference that can help you with that as well. So basically, again, the Skin Success is a treatment cream, whereas the Cocoa Butter helps to soothe and relieve the skin from dryness. Skin Success is able to fade fine lines and basically make your skin look more youthful and radiant. And also it helps with collagen production. But with the cocoa butter, it's not able to achieve that as much as the fade milk is able to. I'll now touch on some similarities I think is important for you guys to know. And firstly, um, it is the fact that you can use both products every day and twice a day. With the fade milk, I know some of you might raise questions like, why should I use it every day because it's got hydroquinone in there? No, that is not the case. Palmas has replaced the hydroquinone ingredients uh, with other ingredients like the vitamin C and the niacinamide. So nothing to worry about. You can use it every day and twice a day and you'll be fine. And then the next similarity is that you can use both products on your face and your body. For the Palmer Skin Success, Palmer's that say you can use it all over your body, but they don't specify that you can use it on both your face and your body. I've done my research and there isn't any facial cream within the Fade Milk uh, range, the Palmer Skin Success Fade Milk range. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I definitely did my research and they don't have a face cream for that particular range, which means that you can use it for both your face and your body. Hey ya! Sorry to interrupt you, it's just to quickly say subscribe if you have not done so yet and turn on the post notification, that means you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you! 
Both products comes in a lotion and a cream. So the cocoa butter has a lotion and has a cream and the jar. And also the Palmer Skin Success has a lotion and a cream. But I must say this, I've used the Skin Success cream before and by far the lotion is more effective than the cream. I just didn't like the cream. It felt too dry on my skin. Sorry Palmer if you're watching me. I just had to share my experience with my viewers. But yeah, that was my experience with it. So uh, you might want to get the cream over the lotion when it comes to the skin success range that is all for this review very simple and i believe it was straightforward hopefully i was able to answer your questions or help you to get um, a clearer picture as to the differences so you don't buy the wrong product and as usual please leave any comments suggestions anything down at the comment section i also leave links to the products so you can purchase them um, off Amazon. Do take care guys. Goodbye.